Good evening, everyone. It's shortly after 8 o'clock, and I want to welcome you to our prayer at the end of the day. My name is Cantor Kurt Schmidt, and I serve at Zion Evangelical Lutheran Church in Deerfield Beach, Florida, but I'm coming at you tonight from our living room. We're here tonight to pray Compline. It's one of the historical prayer offices of the church, along with morning prayer and evening prayer. This is the prayer that we pray when our day is complete. Compline and complete share the same root. During this time, we will allow God to fill us and fill our spirits. We will give thanks to God for our day and ask God to grant us a peaceful rest. Before we begin, a couple of things. First, so that we can better build a spirit of community here, I invite you to leave a greeting in the comments. I love to know who is praying with me each week and I love to see familiar names showing up. Good evening to Penny and Megan and Robin and hopefully Rachel or Emily is with Megan to Eileen and to Drew thank you all for joining me this evening for prayer and to those who are seeing this later on thank you for the blessing of being with us if you'd like to have a bulletin to follow uh, or have the sheet music in front of you for our hymns tonight uh, both are available for download on the website for the church, which is www.zion-lutheran.org, and there's a shortcut on the homepage um, that says looking for worship materials, and you just click on that, and there's all of our bulletins for Sundays and for Wednesday nights. So as we begin, let's calm our spirits by breathing out all of the stress and the anxiety and the worry of today and breathing in the spirit and love of God. If you would like, you're more than welcome to take Continue taking those deep breaths as we join in our call to worship. Almighty God, grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, to herald your love in the morning, and your truth at the close of the day. We join in our theme song for this season, Still My Soul Be Still. My soul be still, 
and do not be moved by lesser lights and fleeting shadows mold onto his ways with shield of faith against temptation's flaming arrows God, you are my God and I will trust in you and not be shaken. Lord of peace, renew a steadfast spirit within me to rest in you alone. My soul be still, do not forsake the truth you learned in the beginning. Wait upon the Lord, and hope will rise as stars appear when day is dimming. God, you are my God. And I will trust in you and not be shaken. Lord of peace, renew a steadfast spirit within me to rest in you alone. hope that this song is bringing you some peace and some calm tonight. If you saw the post for tonight's service, you got a little preview that our theme tonight is faith, faith and trust, not just our faith in God, but God's faith in us. And I'm taking inspiration from one of our lessons for uh, this past Sunday. It's the psalm that we, we chant when we're together, but we've been reading it responsively. Psalm 66, and I'm going to read verses 16 through 20. And I'm going to read it from the New Living Translation because I think the, the wording is a little bit more understandable and, and easier to comprehend. So Psalm 66, verses 16 through 20. Come and listen, all you who fear God, and I will tell you what he did for me. For I cried out to him for help, praising him as I spoke. If I had not confessed the sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But God did listen. He paid attention to my prayer. Praise God who did not ignore my prayer or withdrew his unfailing love from me. This psalm in its entirety recalls the Exodus when Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt. And other verses from the psalm that I did not read, so 1 through 16, or 1 through 15 rather, talk about the basic principle of the human experience. The God who was with the Israelites when they were slaves in Egypt is the same God who delivered them. And similarly, the God who is with us in all of our trials and tribulations is the same God who sees us through the same trials and tribulations again and again. Our church council, our leaders, our board of directors met on Monday night over Zoom and our pastor, David Potter, gave a devotion about what it means to trust in God and to have faith in God. And this is something I struggle with because as some of you may know, 
I want to be in control of as much as I can for as long as I can. But when I trust and when I give things over to God, God always sees me through. My faith may falter, I may stumble, I may fall, but it is God and God alone who gets me up each and every time. God's faithfulness to me never fails. And so whatever is going on in your life, give it to God. Your faith may falter from time to time. You may stumble, you may fall, but God will, will show you the way. He'll pick you up. He'll carry you if need be because he is faithful to you. He's faithful to us and his faithfulness endures forever. So we're going to sing tonight uh, an oldie but a goodie, Great is Thy Faithfulness. If you have a hymnal, it's hymn 733 in our Evangelical Lutheran worship. If you downloaded the bulletin for tonight, the music is there. And if you've done neither of those things, you're welcome to enjoy the hymn just by listening or joining the chorus. Great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Strength for today, a 
and great hope for tomorrow. Blessings all mine with ten thousand beside. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. That's what we pray for tonight. Strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. So as we prepare our hearts for prayer, I invite you to find a comfortable position to close your eyes, to continue breathing deeply as I share with you the canticle, the song for Compline. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guide us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guard us, sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Eternal God, the hours of both day and night are yours, and to you the darkness is no threat. Be present, we pray, with those who labor in these hours of night, especially those who watch and work on behalf of others. Grant them diligence in their watching, faithfulness in their service, courage in danger and competence in emergencies. Help them to meet the needs of others with confidence and compassion. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the day, especially for the good we were permitted to give and to receive. The day is now past and we commit it to you. We entrust to you the night. We rest securely, for you are our help, and you neither slumber nor sleep. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us offer the blessing together. Let us bless the Lord. Almighty and merciful God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, 
Bless, preserve, and keep us this night and forevermore. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. I invite you to share a sign of that peace with someone around you or to text someone and wish them the peace of the Lord this evening. Someone who you know may need it. I want to invite you, as always, to be a part of our virtual community at Zion. We have our Sunday morning worship at 11 uh, on, here on Facebook Live. We have uh, our Holy Grounds virtual coffee hour following worship on Zoom. Those of you that receive our emails, uh, the instructions are there with the meeting ID and the password. If you don't receive our emails, feel free to send me a message or let me know here, and I'm happy to add you to the list. Uh, Pastor Potter offers uh, Monday at 9.59 in the morning, a time of prayer and reflection. And all of these opportunities tonight, Monday morning, Sunday morning, are all moved uh, to our website when they're done and moved to our YouTube channel. So you can check them afterwards if you don't happen to make it. Uh, live, or you can watch them again if you so choose. Uh, if you are a high school youth or you know a high school youth, uh, our Youth Empowerment Project meets over Zoom on Fridays at 4 p.m. And this Friday, I'm going to lead a uh, quarantine edition of the game Charades over Zoom. So if you know of a high school student that uh, would like to plug into a group of peers and uh, adults, leaders, uh, guides, facilitators. We really let the youth tell us what to do. Um, but if they want to plug in, uh, send them my way and uh, we'll make sure that they join us. We've, we've been fortunate to even grow in this time of quarantine and to add a few new members to our Youth Empowerment Project. So that's been a real blessing. Um, and stay tuned for our Faith-Filled Fridays, our Facebook posts from the community with messages of greeting and hope and love. And uh, it's been a real blessing to see how this community is continuing to, to draw close to each other uh, in this time of physical distancing. We need to distance physically, but that does not mean that we need to distance socially. So uh, thank you all for being a part of that. And thank you all for joining me tonight. Um, I hope that these few moments are as meaningful and precious to you as they are to me. Uh, I delight in seeing so many of you um, commenting hello and offering uh, peace and, and greeting and love. And I want to extend that back to you and wish you a, a great rest of your week, a peaceful rest tonight. Blessings upon you, those you love, and those who love you. And I look forward to being together again when next we meet. So God be with you. Good night. <laughs>